Llama 3.2 came out two weeks back. It broke a lot of benchmarks. Some other model two weeks down the line would come and kind of again shake up the benchmarks. There's so much happening in the LLM world that it is kind of difficult to keep track, right? Uh, but one thing that I've also understood in the entire process or the in the entire race that's happening in the LLM ecosystem is a lot of beginners get carried away by models and they don't kind of understand the nitty gritties of how LLMs work. If you are a beginner, if you are um, a seasoned professional as well, and if you want to get your hands dirty with LLMs, I would recommend you should start with the first piece, uh, which is a paper that published or that revolutionized the NLP domain, which is attention is all you need. If you find that a bit complex and if you want to have a more clear vision of how LLMs work or if you want a crystal clear version of how LLMs work, then this is a book that I can wholeheartedly recommend after going through it, obviously. I think I've gone through the entire book and now I can kind of wholeheartedly recommend this book, which is this book. Hands-on Large Language Models by Jay and Martin. It's a fabulous book for everyone. Even if you know LLMs, uh, you kind of know LLMs. No one knows LLMs entirely, right? Uh, so if you are decently placed with LLMs or if you are a complete beginner, you can start with this book. This book is an absolute gem in terms of combining both theory as well as practical implementations. I'll now kind of go through the book and I'll show you why this book is actually the book that I can recommend wholeheartedly for anyone who wants to start with LLMs. I'm kind of going over the index, so I'll kind of take you through the index as well. The first chapter introduces large language models. Very important. I recently interviewed a lot of people and I discovered that not a lot of people understand what is a BERT model, what's the difference between an encoder decoder model and a decoder only model. So it's very important for you to actually understand what LLMs are, which is where the first chapter gives you that introduction. Then the second chapter is about tokens and embeddings. Again, a question on embeddings in terms of why do you fine tune embeddings? Uh, if I have two set of embeddings, embeddings one and embeddings two, which is better for an X use case? Not a lot of people are able to answer this particular question, which is where again, you have a very, very visual approach in terms of explanations, which is where I can recommend this book. Then it goes inside the large language model terminology. It, it talks about how generation happens. Then the next chapter is about text classification using pre-trained models. Then the next chapter talks about text clustering, topic modeling, then there's also mention of a very popular job description these days, which is prompt engineering. One thing that I can share with experiences in May 2024, I was part of the inaugural global prompt engineering championship. Uh, I kind of participated in the entire competition. And what I understood is as technical people, we are very good with designing or fine tuning LLMs. But one thing that we really lack in is writing the right set of prompts. So fine tuning your prompt so that you are able to get the maximum out of LLMs is also an evolving art, which is also something that's covered here in this particular book. The next chapter talks about advanced text generation and some amount of tools such as Langchain and Llama Index. Then there's something that is extremely popular. Uh, everyone wants a large language model for their private data. No one wants to send data outside. And this is the case with a lot of organizations, which is where there's a term called as RAGS, which is very popular. RAGS is also explained very well in this particular book. Then you have multimodal LLMs here. So even that is a chapter here. If you want to understand how in the embedding space, images as well as text is captured. All of this is again covered very beautifully in this particular book. Then the part three is more about fine tuning. So initially what happens is if you're creating an LLM solution, the first piece of solution that you think of is say prompt based, then you go in for a rag based solution. And then finally uh, you kind of enter the fine tuning territory if you have good amount of data. So the third part is talking about fine tuning. Then you have LoRa and the other adapters in terms of fine tuning as well. All of this is covered in this book. The beauty of this book is it's basically a textual book with a lot of images and the images describe the entire process of how the entire information is flowing across the LLMs very beautifully. 
सो अ बिग शाउट आउट टू बोथ दी ऑथर्स जय एंड मार्टिन फॉर क्रिएटिंग अ मास्टर पीस इन एल एल एम्स इफ यू आर अ बिगनर और इफ यू आर अ सीजन प्रोफेशनल इन डेटा साइंस एन एल पी एन एल एल एम्स एक्सेट्रा वॉट एवर द फील्ड यू आर इन इफ यू वॉन्ट अ गाइड टू काइंड ऑफ हेल्प यू अंडरस्टैंड एल एल एम्स बेटर और इफ यू आर अ कंप्लीट बिगनर एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट किक स्टार्ट योर जर्नी दिस दिस बुक योर is something that i can wholeheartedly recommend to all of you out there i'll add the link to this book in the description section of the video feel free to buy the book and hopefully you like the book as well once you go through the book make it a point to write a comment so that the authors can also enjoy the amazing comments with respect to the book that they've written this is all that i had in today's video i hope you liked the video thank you so much for watching this particular video